It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Happy Sunday, everybody. Yeah. We are streaming. Going to say hello here in the chat. Boom, boom. There we go. Hi, and hi. <laughs> hi. Double hi. How is everybody? How are you, sir? I'm great. Great. Awesome. You ready to do some food pairing? I am. Yeah. I we're. Don't, hmm? I don't see us. We're, we're right here. We're here and there. We're there. And here. Oh, I see us now. And now there's oh, audio. And going. now there's audio. Yeah, see, there's a little, bit of a little bit of a delay. Please turn off your phones. Quiet your cell phones now. <laughs> the show and is now starting. Yeah, the show is about to begin. <laughs> yeah. So, what we're going to be doing on this episode is some food pairings, specifically Girl Scout cookies. Yes. Which, I don't know if you know this, Chad, but I used to be a Girl Scout. I did not know this. I had all. The patches. Not all the patches. I wasn't good at some stuff. No. But I did. I wore had a vest. No, I wasn't a sash girl. No? No. Are you a sash girl now? <laughs> I've never been a sash girl. You're a sass girl. A vest is just, there's more surface area for your patches. It just makes more sense. Easier to take on and off. I just never understood the whole sash thing. <laughs> okay. But anyways, um, yeah, Girl Scout cookies, which have changed a lot since I was there how so that time well you know they have these new ones now like they have the s'mores we're gonna try those today mm -hmm. uh, but we do have three of the originals the staples the shortbread okay. uh peanut butter patties mm -hmm. and caramel delights or samoas depending on where you live very divisive terminology and what about those thin mints though <laughs> um <laughs> listen i stalked a girl at kroger for some thin mints and um she was out so little girl i was like Give me your Thin Mints. I was like, hi, here's my $4. Can I have your Thin Mints, please? And her mom was like, oh, we're sold out. And I was like, what do you mean you're sold out? Well, I'll take partial blame for that because I said, oh, yeah, I bought some a couple weeks ago. I got the Thin Mints, so if you can just pick up the others. And then you did. And then I was like, oh, nope, it was a peanut butter patty. Yeah. My bad. So now I've been on the lookout at Kroger ever since then, again, for more Girl Scout cookies. But yeah, but no. Alas, no Thin Mints, so no we shall make mints. do instead. Now we're going to, you know, I would imagine in the future do some other foods besides cookies. Mm -hmm. I want to do cheese. Yeah. Uh, Rick and his wife, Helene, our friends, uh, introduced us to cheese and bourbon, which I never thought would be a thing, and it's delicious. It's a thing. So, it's a um, thing. My mom just commented and said she has Thin Mints. <laughs> P Pam, Pam, can you get here in the <laughs> next 30 minutes? <laughs> no, you're fine. It's fine. And leave now. Don't worry about it. Okay, fine. Because um, well, that, that, that's kind of a tough one anyway, like mint. We occasionally run into some minty tasting bourbons. Very seldom. But it could but be, you know, it doesn't have to be complimentary. It can be the exact sure, opposite. So yeah. what's the opposite of mint? Um, Fire. Well, I don't cooling? know. Spice? I mean, Spice? I guess you could say like... A really high rye bourbon yeah. or a rye with a... Th Maybe. We'll do we'll it. We'll have to investigate We'll do it at a, at a time. But we're going to start off with some shortbread cookies, right? Yes. All right. Um, and thank you to our friend Travis, who is in the comments, being our yes. moderator right now. Sorry. Where are my manners? Thank you, Travis. <laughs> he, is, he is moderating again for us, and we always do such a better job when Travis is moderating. So thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. So we are going to try it with some Basil Hayden. We're back to saying basil now. Yes, we talked about it. <laughs> did we talk about that? Well, we did once on another episode, but yeah, we're back to saying basil Hayden now. Yeah. If you really want to know why, just let us know, and we'll try to break it down for you. <laughs> um, it's a really interesting story. So, someone's asking, what is a Thin Mint? Um, oh. A Thin Mint is kind of like the top of an Oreo cookie, like that chocolate te and that texture, but it's like compressed more, and it's got a minty flavor. And then it's covered in chocolate, like a dark chocolate, kind of. Okay. That's the best way I know how to describe a Thin Mint. Do you have a better way of describing a Thin Mint? I don't know, but I'll try. It does taste like Oreo. Yeah, I guess it does. A minty Oreo. I mean, the, the, the texture I don't think is the same. I think it's more like, um, well, if you're familiar, oh, thank you. You're welcome. If you're familiar with the coating that's over a peanut butter patty, it's basically that coating, but a little harder, like an Oreo. But it's not like crumbly like an Oreo. No, that's what I say, compressed. Sure, okay, gotcha. So yeah, <laughs> that's what a Thin Mint is. Sort of like a, have you ever had an Andy's candy? It's like the middle of that wrapped around chocolate. <sighs> kind of. There's it's no really way to describe to a Thin Mint. It's just, I'm pretty sure they have like that patent protected on a thin, thin Mint. mint. Is a thin There's mint. nothing <laughs> like a Thin Mint. Yeah, um, it's, it's its own thing. So, so, how would you like to do this? I'd like to eat it. 
And then drink. And then drink it. Okay. Yeah. If that's cool with you guys. So, cheers. You get to watch us eat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's always fun. No. Um, so there's shortbread cookie. I actually wanted to start with this one. One, because this is the lowest proof and the mildest cookie, and I figured that would set us up for more cookie things. Um, also, when we were in the New Orleans Bourbon Festival, we did a pairing class with Peggy Stevens, and she introduced me to, introduced us to, shortbread. I and, was there, too. And Basil Hayden. You were also there. Peggy I, Stevens of the Bourbon Women Association, and Peggy Stevens dot com or something mm. the peggy stevens experience they're both so mild and like have a little bit of sweetness to them that's not overpowering oh but that's right on though yeah you know i uh, i kind of would have liked to have tried this before we just to remind myself of what basil hayden tastes like i always make the wrong call no 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 you're fine oh, I, I didn't, it's so perfect i didn't know it either until if you don't have girl scout cookies wherever you're from mm. any shortbread cookie will do um Someone um, on our our last video, because we were talking about this one, I think it was our last uncorking. What did we just uncork? Oh, the AD Laws. Mm-hmm. Um, talked about how we were doing this live episode, and you said, you know, cookies. Because we thought that one would actually pair well with that. And someone said, it's not it's not cookies, it's biscuit. It's a shortbread biscuit. It's a biscuit? <laughs> I think but, that's such a better way to say it. I mean, not it. like I, that. That that kind of makes this person come off like. <laughs> that's how you imagined it in your brain. <laughs> it's a biscuit, no. not a cookie. But it wasn't well, like that. Uh, and I commented back about what you said, the, mm-hmm. the Peggy Stevens, and and how that was kind of like a. It was like a biscuit bread. It was combo weird. Type it was like thing. something you slice. It wasn't yeah. a cookie. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but. Um. <laughs> So is that is that person in the chat? I hope I said I hope they can make it. Someone said, "Why are you calling a biscuit a cookie?" <laughs> I don't know. Someone said we should. Um, anyways, so we'll move on through this. But um, hmm. someone was telling us about a deal that's going on at Kroger this weekend. When you buy hmm. six bottles, you get thirty percent off. I don't know. For those of you who know what Kroger is, that's probably a small amount of you. Uh, they do. Um, hmm. It's like a grocery store. They have a liquor store. They do points, like when you pay for groceries, you get points. In Kentucky, previously to like the past couple of weeks, mm. you can't get points when you purchase alcohol because it incentivizes purchasing alcohol, and that's against the ABV laws here, or ABC laws. Well, ABV. ABV. <laughs> that would be cool if they called it that. Uh, anyways, they've re- revoked that, and now you can get a point whenever you buy a bottle for every dollar you spend. So, yeah. <laughs> it should go well for us. Yeah, it should. Um, Kroger is also. The same thing as Ralph's out west, Ralph's grocery store. I believe. Dang, you're going faster than me. Oh, I'm sorry. That is so good together. Yeah, it is really good. Um, Instead of tea and biscuits, can I have Basil Hayden and shortbread cookies? Yes, you may. I said cookies. <laughs> I want to just try some basil by itself. Now that I've cleansed my palate. And Chad, we have a question from a Jason. What's up? Is there some truth to the Boone County 10-year no longer being available? And if so, will it be replaced with a 12-year offering? That's not something I've heard about. It's not something I've heard about either, and I've seen Boone 10-year recently. But who's who's to say? Who's to say? Um, I would think they would keep both years, both expressions out there, so you could... Go with the 10 or you can pay more I don't know. 12. I, I don't would know. think you'd... It's such a close... Sorry, I can't help you. We'll have to look into that. Um, what Girl Scout cookie would you pair with a high rye? I think that's kind of what we were just talking about. Like, I'd like to try it with a thin mint because I think the coolness of the mint and the spiciness of the rye might balance each other or it might be gross. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to press pause on that question. Just After I cleansed my palate, <clears throat> had just the basil hayden by itself... It's kind of as I remember it, weak. But it's good with the cookie. Very stock tasting. What Not would... much of a finish. So, I highly recommend, when you put that shortbread cookie with it, it enhances mm-hmm. this Basil Hayden a lot. I think it enhances the cookie a lot, too. Because, like, yeah. shortbreads are good, but there's not a not ton a whole, going no, on it's there. Like, this is definitely the most boring Girl Scout cookie, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's why they only had some of those. They had some of those and some other ones left. They're like, <laughs> we have a lot of shortbreads. Do you want our shortbreads? No, I want your Thin Mints! 
Uh, it's a girl! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, now I have to... So I've already been into this box of peanut butter patties. I don't yeah. know how many of these are left. <laughs> my favorite, right beside the Thin Mints. How am I doing this? Wrong. Mm. For usual. Uh, oh, sorry. What would I put with a high rye? Yeah. Um. Sorry for the noise. Yeah. There's no going around it. There okay. isn't. I, probably the... the um, what do we have? Probably the Caramel Delights. I think the caramel would pair well with, you know, the spiciness, the pepperness, pepperness, <laughs> the pepperiness of a high rye. I think that would go well. I don't know. I'm or kinda, you could try to do something contrasting. I'm kind of thinking the s'mores one, because it's kind of got a creaminess mm. to it and the no. chocolate, and I think that I might that too. bring it down. Like, if you wanted to do some pairing, what do we call What was it that she said? Um... Oh, shoot. I can't remember. I wrote it down in my notes. It's like something that goes together, something that is opposite, and then something that like makes an explosion. Explosion. Yeah. But yeah. I'm talking about complimentary. Like, complimentary. Yeah. Duh. Why am I thinking Complimentary. So I don't remember. We'll have to look it up. The middle thing and then explosion. Yeah. Oh, balance, counterbalance, balance, and explosion. Balance, counterbalance. Yeah. Explosion. So for our, our explosion, she gave us this spicy... What was it even? Um, mm, no, the explosion was the chocolate. The counterbalance was the Korean barbecue. The Korean barbecue. Yeah, that's right. I just thought, you know, spicy would have been explosion because it exploded. <laughs> it was hot. It was hot. So we moved on to the peanut butter patties, and we have here some Noah's Mill, which, as you know, is um, historically a peanut buttery tasting bourbon. So this would be complimentary. Should be. Should be. This bottle, we kind of got an off bottle, and this yeah. is the only one that we have, or, you know. This bottle, I think, is a little more minty. So let's drink it by itself first. I did. Oh, you did? Okay. <laughs> you missed it. You're ahead of me. They saw it. You didn't see it. And I'm going to get chocolate hands. We should have got a napkin. <laughs> chocolate hands. By George, you're right. This is definitely more minty than It's normal. normally really peanut buttery. So, I'm not sure how this is going to go with this right now. I'm actually kind of concerned. You should grab that Booker's. Well, now we've got a glass that's full of... Well, luckily um, we're doing very small pours. So... I mean, small of 115 proof. Still... <laughs> Alright, well, I'll leave this here for a yeah. second. Alright, let's try it. See what's, what's what. See what's what. Mmm. <laughs> That's a good cooking. That's a good cookery. But it's basically shortbread with peanut butter dipped in chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Still enhances it. I don't know if it's, it's exactly right with this bottle of Noah's Mill, but... Um, where are we here? Uh, I mean, it doesn't taste bad. It doesn't go with it, though. No. Just finished my last Noah's Mill. When can I mail order some? Are you in Kentucky, Brad? Is that what you're asking? Because I think, I don't know if that's gone into effect yet. The bill is passed, right? Yeah. The shipping are... are but I don't uh, know what, if the distilleries are doing it. You can now go to a distillery and ship up to six bottles per day home. Yeah. They're going to um, have like kiosks set up. 750s. Uh, at, at the distillery for like a shipping center, basically. And you can just ship it. Ship so there's going to be a lot of... Bourbon leaving Kentucky, which, I don't know, it's kind of a double-edged sword here. We want to be able to ship things out and have things shipped in. That's not the right thing. Not this bottle. Not this bottle. We've had a previous bottle that I swore would be perfect. Yeah. Not this. So let's talk about alternatives to Noah's Mill. Um, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter. 1920? Mm-hmm. That's more of a nut than peanut, peanut butter. butter, but... I think nut would be complimentary as well. Yeah. We're going to rain try some Booker's, Booker's. which is peanut. Mm-hmm. Um, what does the peanut butter cookie smell like? <laughs> Chocolate-covered peanut butter? Yep. <laughs> Chocolate and peanut butter. I mean, it really does. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. With, like, a little bit of maybe kind of graham crackery? I'm not really sure. Yeah. Um, Knob Creek Single Barrel or Elijah Craig Single Barrel, go. Knob Creek Single Barrel or Elijah, Elijah Craig. Craig Single Barrel. Wait, are we talking barrel? No, just single barrel. Just single barrel. 
Elijah Craig single barrel? That's what he said. Is there Elijah Craig single barrel? Am I just... SB. Maybe he means small batch. Small batch. Small batch. Yes. Small batch. Uh, Knob Creek small batch or... Not the abbreviations. <laughs> yeah, I think it's S-I-B for single barrel or something like that. Um... The, the bourbon world is full of abbreviations. People will do like, you know, S A O S, Smooth Angry Old Scout. They'll just do, like, if you're a noob to bourbon and you're, you're like, in the what? forums and you're seeing all these abbreviations, you're like, just take the time to type it out, please. That's how I was <laughs> back in the day. Um, they're, they're different. They're so different. It kind of depends on your mood. I think people expect me to say Knob Creek <laughs> because Beam. But I mean, I would say not. Okay, hundred proof might put it towards Elijah Craig. Mm-hmm. Hundred and twenty proof, but that's single barrel, so never mind. That's not what you asked. I don't know. I'm gonna say Elijah Craig. You can say Knob Creek, just so we're different. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Wait, just so we're different? I just said Knob Creek. I know. I said Elijah Craig. Oh, I thought you said I'm going to say Knob Creek just so no. I can say we're different. No. You all heard it. But I must be misreading and mishearing things today. I don't know. Yes. All right, so this is 2017-01. Not our most favorite from 2017. I'm going to put this back. But pretty darn good. I just want like a tiny, tiny. Yeah, just a sploosh. I never understood that. What is that? A splash? It's a splash. It's a dram. A dram. Oh, because you won't say dram. I won't. He refuses. Are we fighting? No. Oh, this isn't fighting. <laughs> we don't fight. You'll know. Because I win automatically, so there's no fight. <laughs> We're gonna fight about this later. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. Bookers. Delicious. Now with the uh, peanut butter patty. Ooh, much better. They definitely, mm, it brings out the peanut in the bookers. However, whew, the heat from the bookers is killing the cookie. So, this is no by no means scientific. Mmm, <laughs> it is kind of, isn't it? But, ooh, wow, it's really it's accentuating really, mm-hmm. the peanut butter. Wow! Yeah, so I think it just needs, I may have poured too much water. Wow! Yeah, for that little sploosh, probably. Mmm. Dang. I'm gonna get this right. Here, wait, 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 <laughs> wait. My hands are clean, I promise. Come on. This is not helping. This is slow. This is really not and doing weird. much. A little bit of water added. Oh, better. Much yeah. better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that aggressive, the high proof was just like mm, burning the cookie taste out. Hmm. It was trumping the cookie taste. It's good. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. What whiskey pairs well with eating a, a, a 55? What's that? With eating a 55. Is that a steak? With eating a 55? A 55. I'm not real sure what that is, so I can't say. What's what's a 55, GG and stuff? Oh, I'm excited about this one. Is that good game and stuff? Is that what that is? GG. GG. And stuff. So, next we have, and again, I don't know where you're from, the north or the south, but Carmel Delights here. I think up north they call them Samoas. So them northerners. These used to be my favorite ones when I was little. I watched the northerners. Um, I don't know. (laughs) Now, this is Jefferson's Ocean uh, Cast Strength Voyage Ten. This one, the 2017. It's a ten or seven. This is the ten. It's the gray label. Nope. Look again. Oh, it is the seven. I thought that they both had the gray label. They do. But one has a seven on it, and the other one has a ten. Either way. (laughs) Do you want me to go find the (laughs) ten? No, I'm going to punch you. We are going to be fighting. <laughs> Seriously, on live. <laughs> on live internet. That's never happened before. There's never been a fight on the internet. Never. Ever. I 
Thank you. They say it's got like a caramely saltiness. Now, yeah. I don't know if I buy the salt as much as I really do think it's caramely. Something happens out there. Something. We don't know what. I think we can mostly all agree on that. Mostly. <clears throat> mostly. Oh, hey. hello. Um, that's fine, because I kind of like the 7 just a little bit better than the 10. I, I think know. you're the opposite. I like the 10 just a little bit better than the 7. Caramel <clears throat> cookie for you. Caramel cookie. Caramel cookie for me. Sure, I'm going to have a sugar rush after this. <laughs> Alright, Jefferson's Ocean. And this is also like the, um, the most top shelf as far as price goes. That we have back that here? That we yeah. have, you know? Like, it's around 100 bucks. We're trying to keep this... Like, we're not doing anything that's so limited like exclusivity like a b-tac yeah or i didn't want to do something or like that even like a four roses le or anything like that like a limited edition i mean even with like the, the noah's mill you could still do a lower grade like will it and get not i mean they, uh, they are kind of peanutty johnny drum would probably be would like be a good the, one the poor man's noah's mill right to, to pair and so you could do that yeah yeah so all right this by itself first Mm. Wow. It's got kind of an islandy taste, which I think might lend to the coconut. Yeah, like a like a like a. Mm, what is that? Like a lot more citrus. It's than kind I of beachy. Right? It is beachy, like a yeah. little bit of lotion. In there. <laughs> <laughs> like a well, he said. You know, Trey says it's like a island island malt. Right. A rum, you know, rum and a bourbon. Something like that. Something like that. Because it's, it's got the it's, heat and the tropical. Yeah. You'd have to listen to him. He talks about it. If you ever get the chance to hear him talk, he's got good stories. We like his stories. Oh, Little Book. Wait, was he A55? I still don't know what A55 is. but No. Little Book. Opinion? Picked up a bottle and haven't tapped it yet. It's interesting. It's good. It's good. It's, good. it's really cool that for his first um, offering, he did something so unique. We're talking about Freddie No, the son of Fred No. He will be the eighth generation, I believe, um, beam at Jim Beam. No, we like it. We dig it. Ooh, that's good. We've got a couple other rolling. Hmm? Okay. Um, let's see. Have we tried the Libby 3816 for whiskey tasting? That's a five ounce snifter. No. Mm -mm. Libby, though, I know that brand. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. So, will mm -mm. the bill pass just allow shipping to this to different states, or will it also allow shipping to Hing England? I do not know about international shipping. I know that it definitely covers all the United States. Uh, well, as long as you can ship to a state that accepts shipping. Correct. <laughs> so there are some states that don't accept shipping, and you can't ship to those. So. And that all has to do. I'm gonna guess no on the international shipping for in, right now. In my belief, cookie crumbs. Um, to my knowledge, that you know. There are states who have wet and dry counties, and if a state has dry counties in it, a lot of times just the whole state they don't ship to, so they don't have to like figure out, oh, is this going to a county that's wet or dry, you know? So they just say like, because that's how Kentucky was. We have lots of, we have a lot of dry counties mm -hmm. in Kentucky. I think this is my favorite one so far. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. I kind of just made this one up right before we came up here, like oh. preparation. Yeah, prep. <laughs> well, we had everything else figured out, but then we got the s'mores instead of the Thin Mints, and that kind of threw me, me off, and I was like, what do we put with these caramel delights? I'm like, what's caramely and would be kind of, I don't know, I think of coconuts, I think of the beach, so I was like... No, this was a stroke of genius. I, this was very inspiring. Thank you. No one's ever said I've had a stroke of genius before, so... <laughs> and it's recorded. Yes. <laughs> yeah. My future children, when you're one day watching this... <laughs> I used to be smart. Oh, you're right, Mom. It's right there on the internet. Mm -hmm. Um. No, that's good. This is like, oh, it makes me it's really good. think it's not 40 degrees outside. Right, right I want to go outside now. I um, want to go to the beach, man. <laughs> Let's go. Don't worry. <laughs> Every little thing going to be all right. Is that, is that bad? Should I stop that? Mm. Yeah, okay. Well, it reminds me of Cool Runnings. Cool Runnings. Yeah. Yeah. Um. A Jamaican Which is a, a great movie. It's a great movie. Um, do we have a Woodford Reserve Master's Collection batch proof to uncork? No. Oh, if not, we don't? Mm -mm. Join. That's the problem with eating on episode. Read the rest of it. <clears throat> oh. 
If not, do a Carol Burnett. <laughs> I already did it. <laughs> well, you read it out loud. Sorry, you, you pointed at it. You pointed. <laughs> it's bourbonite at gmail.com. <laughs> mm, that's good. That's my favorite one so far. That is tasty. I don't know. I really liked that Booker's with a little bit of water. And the um, it was patties. good. It was good. I think your love of the peanut butter patty and over- my love of Booker's is overshadowing your love of them together. Perhaps, like, but it took my Booker's experience to a level I had nay yet obtained. Nay, nay, even. What about your knight that's in the corner? What about him? Where? Which knight is that? I've asked him before. <laughs> And he's very stoic. I think he's from England. He's not allowed to talk. He said Galahad. I don't know what that means. Um, ooh, we have to try Cadbury he's, Mini Eggs and McKenna? He's the one from uh, Monty Python and Search for Holy Grail. It's always like half out of the screen. He's always, run away, run away. He's, he's that one. Nearly soiled my armor. Okay. You may call me... That's enough. <laughs> Tim? See, <laughs> when you're not there... You just keep going. I just keep going. I know. Ergo on... And then um, it becomes the Chad doing impression show Perry's instead of its bourbon night. podcast. <laughs> on This Is My Bourbon Podcast, when you didn't they make it... They just go on... I have to put my foot down. I don't want to be a nag or a wet blanket, but somebody has to do it. <laughs> Reel it in. Someone has to say. All right, we're on to the s'mores, yes? Uh-huh. Yes, so we haven't really... Like, we want to do the rare breed, I think. Yeah, we're gonna... And this is untested. Um, so. Yeah, we haven't tried this. I was thinking the rare breed with this. Um, now, this is the expression before the one that's currently out. So this is the 112.8. I think the one that's out there is 116 point... I don't know what the point is. <laughs> He's the bourbon knight. What the hell? That just exploded Bro- out of there. Things you shouldn't say online. <laughs> <laughs> That's also on film, Mom, on tape. Sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry, fam. Um, um, yes, it's Bourbon Night. Yeah, he's the Bourbon Night. He's going to do it right. Now, do you have any good spring or early summer bourbons to recommend? We only, He says he only seems to drink bourbon in the fall or winter. Um, There's no, in our opinion, bourbon season. You know, it's year-round. I will say, though... When we were at Bourbon and Beyond last year, it was like 100 degrees outside. Hell, yeah. I couldn't do it. I needed a mixer. I needed ice. Like, I wanted to drink it straight, but it was miserable. That's when you go cocktail. We really you liked gotta go the, cocktail. um, oh, what was that Larceny one? Buck. Yes, the Larceny Buck. It was basically like Larceny and lemon with ginger beer, I think. Mm-hmm. It was pretty good. It was the a riff on a mule, I guess. Sure. But man, it was refreshing. <sighs> that, that, I mean... You just cannot, especially over 100 proof, in the summer, it's just too hot. Yeah. It makes you too, it already warms you up, it's just so hot. Well, you know. Definitely a cocktail, Maybe go ahead with 130 proof, but but put it on ice. So Yeah, ice ball. Ice ball, so as it slowly dilutes, you're getting a, a chilled mm-hmm. drink, and it's slowly dropping that proof down. Sure. But you're still going to probably be north of 100 yeah. or so. North of 80, anyway, to where it's still technically bourbon when you're finishing it Mm -hmm. i'd recommend a cocktail during the day and doing that at night Mm -hmm. um if you're looking for a nice cocktail i'd recommend checking out our cocktail episode on the tight spot shameless plug that is delicious i'm actually i really want to make one in that oh derby's coming up that's when we made it we made those last year for that i think Mm -hmm. so hmm. yeah go all right all right this first Man, that's good. Mm-hmm. I enjoy rare bread. I really think, like, wow. there's a creaminess to this. Bam. And a really good balance that I think is going to work with this cookie. <laughs> you haven't had rare bread in a while. <laughs> it's just so good. I love it. Um, have you tried the 116.8 proof of this? No. Oh, it's 0.8. Thank you. No, I haven't. Do you have it? No, I don't. And obviously, I'm going to have it soon. Right. <laughs> But you gotta work through this guy first. Oh, did you try the Castle and Key Gin that you got? No. Yes. Yes? Yes. You tried it there, but I haven't tried it. At, at the store. I tried it. What were your thoughts? It's gin, so obviously you're already not at a 
good place with it. Well, I'm not at a knowledgeable place because mm. I haven't had a whole lot of gin. But coming from a noob gin drinker perspective, I really liked it. It had this. Only thing I can describe it as this is like this twang, this this turning of the of the taste buds mid palate. They're just like, hey, and I think it's like the juniper. Uh, in there. The mm. bottle's right over there and it's got some descriptors on it. Let me, hold on. Mm. Let's do this and then you go get it. Yeah. Ooh, again with the heat. It, on the finish, it works really well with the cookie. Yeah, but the palate's kind of like questionable. You're like, is this right? Well, at first it's just like, whoosh. Yeah. I need... I don't know. I don't think the make the same mistake. The chocolate component is really working as well with this, like it does with like a four roses small batch or something. Yeah. So if we had some four roses small batch, that's probably what I would put this. Fresh out. Uh, We are fresh out of that. Yeah. Um, Shockingly, I really enjoy it with chocolate. It's kind of like the basil Hayden. Like, do I love it by itself? Mm, It's. I'll drink it. It's good. I mean, is it my go-to? No. But I would. I think it would go really well with this, and I love it with chocolate, so. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we need to... Ooh, we have some super chats! Hey! Oh, thank you! Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the super Santa chat. Santa Cruzin. <laughs> Santa Cruzin. And we Cruzin. got a, another one before. We got a $2 one from somebody. Who was it from? Well, fine, we need to give him a shout out. Well. Uh. Uh. Hulk, Hulkumbi. Hmm? I don't know how to say that. Oh, oh, he, he's a frequent commenter on our on our page. Whole, whole, Comey? Comey? C-O-M-B-I. Thank you. Yeah, you're, you're a, you know, I, I talk to you often in, in comments on YouTube. Um, I'm making crumbs. In fact, were you, were you the one who talked about the biscuit? Was that you? Were you the biscuit commenter? Hey, Chad, say his tongue punch. Tongue punch. <laughs> I'll do anything for $2. No. <laughs> uh, but anyway, thank you. Thank you for the $2 super chat. Thank you for the $20 super I'll chat. I'll do anything for $2. I don't okay. know. Uh, like, seriously, thank you. It's such such appreciation and, mm-hmm. and love for you guys. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we're going to have to find something on this on this back bar. That goes better with this cookie? That goes better. But I'm going to go grab this Grab gin the gin. Here. Yep. <laughs> Dang, I was going to talk about something, but then Chad said tongue punch, and then I'm... Tongue punch! I'm all, um... We'll put that on a t-shirt. Tongue punch. <laughs> what, Chad will do anything for $2, or tongue punch? Ooh. Um, <laughs> Chad will do anything for a bourbon. For a free bourbon. Parentheses, tongue punch! <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's good, but it's not perfect. It's not what I'm looking for. He needs a tongue punch in the bourbon bottle. All right, um... Oh, I like their little, um, on the back through the bottle, you can see it's like, um, the blueprint or it's like, this is going to go out of focus, but, but you can't see it there. No, yeah. no, you can't. Sorry. Let's see. Can... It's not an auto focusing you see this camera here. On. It's like some, um, blueprint things to, Oh, I didn't even um, notice that. Yeah. That's really cool. It's, it's like a blueprint breakdown of part of the castle. That's really cool. Well, that's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna put see, this up I'm on. Detail oriented. I'm gonna put this up on Instagram later, so you guys can see it. This is awesome. So, uh, London Dry Gin. Um, do you want to read those things? It's a lot of big words. <clears throat> Botanicals: chamomile, ginger, rosemary, lemon verbena. I think that's how you say that. Verbena, licorice root, angelica root, coriander, and juniper. That sounds lovely. Seventeen percent corn, sixty-three percent rye, twenty percent malted barley. 106 proof. Where's that $20? I said tongue punch like 10 times. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> Easy. Oh, yeah. she wrote like a little too. I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. That's so sweet. Yeah, she said, would you like me to personalize this? And I was like, would it make sense to sign a gin to its bourbonite? And I like seriously thought about it for five or 10 seconds. I think it does. Who and else is like, she yeah, going to sign it go to? Go for it. Go for it. And yeah, this is their first gin. We should keep this. Yeah, no, that's like the thing. This is batch one. It's like, oof. Do we open it? Do and we not open it? I bought the last bottle. So you really the know it's special. The last bottle. Yep. So. Looking right. forward. 2021, they released their bottled and bond bourbon. They're going to release 
release their rye before then, maybe even this year, if not this year, next year. Got another super. Another super chat. Oh, oh five dollars because you did make that biscuit comment. Team biscuit. I <laughs> thought it was you. Someone said don't open it. So okay, don't we won't then. Because <laughs> just because you said. Um, okay, so now I'm thinking. Team biscuit. What do you think? Are we thinking the rye? Do we want to vote on the Knob Creek that we try this with? Or do All we right. Go so with? yeah, we got Knob Creek rye. We have Knob Creek 100 proof. Knob Creek 120. We have Old Weller Antique 107. That's pretty much what we have. And that's pretty much what we have. Up here right now. So. Oh, we've got some Henry McKenna tenure. I and, feel like we've talked about McKenna a lot lately, though. And the um, Old Fitzgerald Bottle and Bond. Um, that's all. That's pretty much it that's up here right now that's open. Kentucky Pride, but, you know, who knows what that is. Right. <laughs> oh. So what do you all think? Um... Joe says Often choose single barrel. Choose something that will punch Chad in the tongue. <laughs> well, then it must have to be the one twenty. One. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'd like to go with something that's not one twenty though, because I think it's. I want to go with something that complements the cookie more, so I'm gonna oh. go ahead and take this out. Um, sorry, guys. All right, fine. Well, you know what? Why don't you try one and I'll try the other one, and then we'll switch. Okay, we'll do the right. Did I pour water in this already? Nope. <laughs> nope, I did. Yeah, I did. Enough for two. There we go. All right. I have... Knob Creeks are always the hardest to open. <laughs> but a great seal. Uh, the Knob Creek 100 proof rye. Um, mash bill is undisclosed, but it tastes like it's 51% rye. And I just have the small batch. This is the nine-year age stated, by the way. That's how we do in this. Yeah. Okay, up in this. B word. Trying to keep it safe for advertisers. Are you serious? I Safe for advertisers. So I guess I need to get my mouth under control. Yeah, then, huh? maybe you do, sailor. You like it. <laughs> they like it, I think. <laughs> They're adults, and mostly men. Who watches um, Bob's Burgers? Have you seen the episode when Bob and Teddy take that uh, uh, hip-hop dance class? And the dance instructor is this white woman. She's like, all right, yo, if, you know, uh, you don't have to stay in this class or something like, you better be be ready to do some hip hop and occasionally hear the B word. <laughs> if you're not cool with that, you know, something like that. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, tangent. Oh, this is better. All right. Um, mm, yeah. That's good. Oh, I'm a fan of that. I prefer it to the rare breed. Although I like rare breed a lot. It's not the right cookie for it. I don't know about the rye. I think it's too much heat for this. Okay. Let's switch. Switch. Hold on, I got it. Switch, just so you guys aren't confused for anyone joining us now. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. If you're joining us now, you missed it. This is the last cookie. You missed it. Swish, swish. Swish, swish, bish. Bish. <laughs> B word. Ooh, let us know, uh, Gene, what you like, or what you think about your... Gene, also I'm about assuming Spurs. you're liking it. Um, but Gene. The Henry McKenna, when you open it, let us know. Mm. Oh, yeah, no, this is better than rye. Yes. It doesn't overpower the chocolate. It just, it really complements it. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. The spice in this is like So like F you cookie. Yeah. Yeah, no. This is this is the where it's at. Mm. We're gonna say for s'mores, we're taking the rare breed off, although it's an excellent bourbon, and saying Knob Creek one hundred. Yeah. I love the Knob Creek ride, but it is not to be paired with this cookie. And I think it would be too aggressive for the thin mint too. I think they would just be fighting too much, like would it be an explosion? There, no, I think it would just be headbutting. Like, mm. they're both such intense flavors. I don't know if Thin Mint goes with bourbon. Look, I'll talk to Pam. I'll get some What did, Thin Mints. Uh, what we'll, did, what we'll did some bourbon review say for Thin Mints? Basil Hayden. Which, I, apparently a lot of people think it has a peppermint note to it. Which may be true. It's all subjective. Sure. I personally don't pick it up. I love it with the shortbread. I think that there, there can be no more 
perfect match than that. Yeah. I really like this. Yes. But, yeah. so now we're at the end. What's your favorite cookie pairing? That's tough. I really like this one that's going on right now. That's really good. This is really good. The Jefferson's Ocean and Caramel Delights was really good. And then the Booker's and Peanut Butter Patties I really liked. Although that's more of like, you have to like barrel proof bourbons to enjoy that you know yeah. it, it's more of an advanced level i feel like in your in your bourbon journey mm-hmm. beginner definitely basil hayden and the shortbread for I mean, sure because they say basil hayden is really good for beginners anyway yeah that um, would be really good to do if you're having like a party or something like as a snack like a fun little pairing sure because that's not i mean not too outrageously expensive and shortbreads are pretty common i mean you don't have to mm-hmm. get girl scout cookies I would have to say the Jefferson's Ocean with the Caramel Delights is my favorite pairing. Um, Expensive taste. I mean, Booker's is like $70. <laughs> yeah. It's not because it's expensive. It's because they go well together. I and know. It's just ribbon. I'm trying to overlook my cookie favoritism also. Like, sure. I actually thought the peanut butter one was going to be my favorite. I'm probably plain, plain cookie and bourbon favoritism. So I like the Jefferson's Ocean and the Caramel Delights best. This is probably, I don't know. I do feel like they complemented in such a unique way the best. Mm-hmm. I gotta say it's a tie between this and the s'mores and the shortbread and the basil hayden. I like this bourbon better, but I like that well, I just think it's just so perfect on that end, but it's so much more mild. Okay. So I think that they're even in that I like them both a lot. It just depends on them if I'm in a higher proof mood or not. Sure. And then lastly, I think that the Noah's Mill didn't quite hit the mark with the peanut butter patty. Well, and the Booker's was too overpowering for the peanut butter patty. I really so think that was the bottle we have. Now I'm on a mission to find a more perfect match for the peanut butter patty. But okay. for this round, it just didn't do it for me. Although I love the cookie and I love the bourbon. Can we do bonus round? Uh, do we have time? Yep. Bonus round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another super chat? What? Thank you, Andrew. Andrew. Thank you. My mom Muchas says she gracias. has two boxes of Thin Mints. Dang, I was looking at every Kroger mom. Pam! <laughs> you could have been here by now! He, was like, he looked at the door like, will the doorbell ring? <laughs> no, she's fine. It's not her fault. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We need to do some testing anyways, because I don't think that's going to be like a... We think it goes, and then it goes kind of match. It's going to have to yeah. be some trial and error. True. Are you saying I have to drink bourbon and eat cookies? Not a cookie. What is it? A biscuit. Not a biscuit. Oh, a this? A bourbon ball. I was saying about the Thin Mints, though. Oh, well, we don't have Thin Mints. Thanks for no, I'm pouring saying salt in a wound. In the future, when we're doing trial and error, oh, I'm sure, going to sure. have to drink bourbon and eat more cookies. That's correct. He wasn't listening. No, I wasn't <laughs> listening. Point. All right, so these these are Ruth candies. Ooh, I, I think I didn't know. the same company that makes the Woodford Reserve bourbon balls. I'm just gonna keep Pretty my sure. rye for right so now. So when you go on a tour at Woodford Reserve, they end it with the tasting, and they have sitting there in front of you one of these little guys, a bourbon ball with a walnut. That's a pecan. Pecan. That's what I said. No basic, one, no one, no one can prove differently. Basic nope. tree nut knowledge, but didn't whatever. Say it, didn't say it. Not true. Fake news. Um, uh, a pecan on top, and th- I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been on that tour. I think they tell you to drink it or er, drink it, eat it after the double oak. And we have some, but not in front of us. So Ooh. we're gonna we're gonna try it with what? Uh, let's try with the antique. Okay. Oh, shaking things up. Um, let's see. We had a question. I don't know how to say that name. Um, but ever since he tried, or she, I'm not sure, he, I'm assuming, um, the Knob Creek Rye have yet to find one equal. Suggestions. Um, equal in price? No. No suggestions. It's the best for the price, in my opinion. What came in second? I feel like Woodford came in second. Woodford Rye is good. I liked it better than you did. You didn't like it as much as I did. I'll put it second. Did you? Yeah. I don't think so. Well, maybe, maybe. Okay, fine. If you say you did, you did. Can we go to the replay? No, we're live. Oh, we can't. We do can't. That. We, we don't have. There's re- no one over there. We don't have replay. There's no one over there. Um. We can't go to the replay. I'd suggest spending a little bit more money. In my a little bit, I mean double, to get Pikesville Rye. But that's just what <laughs> I think. 
Ooh, yeah. baby sass. That's a good point. Um, it depends on baby where you is good, yeah. where you are. Yeah. I just don't think it's as I like it. Is it as good as Knob Creek Rye? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so either. But yeah. All right. A bourbon and meatloaf pairing. Oh, I don't like meatloaf. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We do a bourbon and pizza pairing or something. Why do you want to make me fat? <laughs> bourbon and, and cheeseburger. And... Like a bourbon and five Ooh. guys pairing. Uh, I will ask you guys um, if anybody jets. knows any cheese pairings that they like with bourbon. I've got a few ideas, but if you've got anything that you love that's your go-to, let us know in the comments. And um, yeah, I mean, eventually, in a couple episodes Meat from now. Meatloaf. <laughs> Meatloaf. You know, okay, it's actually. It's savory. The ke- there's ketchup. Double oak. Because That's when we had it, say. we were like, we want some barbecue with this. It's so savory. It's not barbecue, but it's... I it's not barbecue, say, but it's meat. It so is meat. I feel like, yeah, if you got some double oak, uh, do that. You, you, you gotta drink that. This is... I will. Okay. Dead air. Ooh. Good with that, too? Yes. Get your own. Get my own. <laughs> Now, that works. I think it's the pecan. Yeah. He likes it. I want some more. That's good. But we gotta try this. I'll sip yours. <sighs> oh my gosh, fine. No, go for it. <laughs> We're fighting. We're fighting. This is what you want, internet. This is what you wanted. That's all they're really watching to see. I know. Ooh, Gorgonzola like watching... with a port finished cab. I don't like port finished, but I will. Or cab. Uh, yeah, Jefferson's Pritchard with a Gorgonzola. That sounds amazing. It's like watching NASCAR for the races. <laughs> You're just watching this what? live stream for the fights. When will they fight? <laughs> or a hockey game. We could fake honest. one. Do you want to set? We could reality TV stage one. <laughs> we don't really have any experience. I don't know how it would go. No. I think it would end up turning into a real one. I know. Because we would say fake things and then eventually I'd get like, my Do you really hurt. mean that? <laughs> well, we can still. I, I mean, I poured enough for two, so we can still share this one. Aw. Gene, I'm glad that you love our videos and you've learned so much about whiskey. Ah. Thank We're you, Gene. also learning, too. Gene. I wish I could do Bob or Archer. Gene. Ugh. Oh, my God. I can't do it. Sorry. That was the first time trying, by the way. Okay. Okay. Nope. This is where it's at. Oh, yeah. No, this is wrong. That's wrong. Wrong. Save this. We'll drink it in a minute. When we're off air. (laughs) (laughs) Behind the scenes. You mean in 11 minutes? Something like that. All right. We're going to finish our sooner. bourbon balls. So wait, we're suggesting... Oh, this is the rye. Yeah, this is the rye. Okay, and you have chocolate on your lip. Wait. No, yeah, we switch. Do I still have it? No, you got it. So good. We're finding something to do with the rye. Yeah, because... Excellent. I thought that we had switched Excellent. back, but we didn't. Is Mr. Mr. Burns, Burns on the list? I know. Is he is. on the list? Yes. Okay, fine. I think... Must be. God. Do you want to tell him about the list? <laughs> Don't. Okay, fine. Well, Don't. Clearly We're you, fighting now. If you watch the show, you know that Chad likes to do impressions. And when we first started dating, I was like, geez, you do We're a lot dating? of impressions. Oh my God, I'm going to smack you. <laughs> I've had enough of you today. Oh, wow. Um... Anyways, he started doing impressions, because that's what he does. And I was like, wow, you do so many impressions, I can't keep up. So I started keeping a log of every impression that he when he would do it, because I was like, this is so many. I couldn't believe one human could, like, categorize and file all of these impressions in their brain. And it's up to, like, oh, 50 now. That's wrong. That's I'm pretty sure uh, Mr. Burns is, is one of them, okay, but I'll good. have to double check that. <laughs> all right, so yeah. we're doing this in the mm-hmm. Knob Creek Rye? <laughs> oh yeah no that's right it is right that is correct it's so many kinds of right i think it's because of the creaminess of this mm-hmm. with the spiciness now what's that stuff in the middle of those cream just like cream 
And some kind of cream. Okay. It's almost like... It kind of reminds like me pink. of like a thicker version of what's in a Cadbury egg. Mmm. But the, the nut and the chocolate go so well with this low rye rye. What I expect to be a low rye. Yeah. Rye. Around 51% rye. Man, <laughs> that's good. Mmm. 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 Mmm, that's good. Wow. Well, I'm all hopped up on sugar now. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> Chip. <laughs> Chip, I'll throw your war medals off. What did he say? No, he did throw his war medals off. Oh. Chip, I'll come at you like a spider monkey. I'll, I might be 12 years old, but I'll beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> there goes our advertising. Because okay. I said ass. <gasps> I wow. don't know. I don't know how YouTube works. Um, no, that's really good. Mm-hmm. Oh, dang on it. If someone wants to hear you do Chewbacca, would they have to be word. Can you do it? No, yeah. I don't want to hear it. You need some practice? <laughs> He's unsure. Don't make him I'll do, do it. I'll do it for free, and if you like it, you can super <laughs> chat. Was that even in there? Or no, did, did it's you on, see here. It on here. I just happened to see it on here. <clears throat> Which, no offense, Travis, I totally trust your um, monitoring. <laughs> I didn't make it through the, moder- the it, moderator. It, it just happened to pop up on my phone, and I just happened to look down. Well, you know, it takes some time to copy, paste, and send. Sure. Well, I don't expect everyone to come through either, because some people are talking to each other, but my bad. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, that went wrong. But it's more like... <laughs> when he's laughing. But I think they're talking about, like, the... <clears throat> No, you're doing more of a Yoda. Just stop. <laughs> you... No, he, well, hmm, okay. The yell? No, the yell's too hard. The yell is hard, but I do know mm. someone that can do it. You're going very It's the... That's close. I don't think anyone's going to pay us for that. All right, that's enough. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't deserve money. <laughs> that does not. Pay, pay him to stop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, everyone will start jumping in. Yes, please stop. Please quit. Know. It sounds like a dog crying. I agree. <laughs> Isn't that what Chewbacca does? He's basically a dog. That crying. was all sorts of wrong. Well, yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Um, I'll work on it. They're please. looking for the row. Like the head tilt. Back yeah, I would have to do yeah. that off camera first. Uh-huh. I don't feel comfortable. Mm-mm. I feel exposed. I don't blame you. Yeah. Well, does anyone have any last question? <laughs> any final words? <laughs> Here, look at this. Ooh. This was a gift from my mom. And, uh, and, oh, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot how to do it. This is a Jim Beam decanter from 1978. You can see here on the back, it's got the, uh, the stamp. stamp. Um, and it's 100 months old, which makes it eight years, four months, if I'm doing my math right. Math doesn't. My friend. <laughs> uh, it's a desk set f- replica of an 1897 desk set. Uh, and here on the bottom is where the 1978 is found. And this unscrews. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Connect me with... Connect me... <laughs> Hello, Barbara. Connect me with uh, m- uh, Mr. Burns, please. All right. um, I keep wanting to say you used to call me mm. on my bourbon phone. And it and it smells. It does. There's smell nothing in here left. Like, but nothing the remnants, in here left. <laughs> the remnants of whiskey are in there. Uh, it smells so good. Um, you so yeah. You wanted to show off your uh, new toy. I did, and it still has the sticker, the price tag back here from Shoppers Village, thirty nine or sorry. Thirty four. Thirty four ninety five for for this guy. Which is pretty cool, right? Yeah, they used you know Jim Beam used to do a lot of decanters. So it's super cool. Um, Glad to have it. Thanks, Ooh, Mom. Ooh, pairing bourbon with fancy bread? I mean, I like any excuse I love bread. to eat bread. Love bread. <gasps> what else can we pair bourbon with? I mean, I just don't even know. With other bourbon? Barbecue, cheese, I think. Bread. Nuts, obviously. Hey, Chris. Chocolate. All the way from Australia. Hey! Isn't it like the middle of the night What there? are you doing up, Chris? Go back to bed. I don't know what time it is, but it's late, right? Or early. Chris, go back to bed. No, stop. Can you go back to bed now? <laughs> He's gonna hate He doesn't you. like it when I do that. No one likes it when you do your Austro. Are you doing, what are you doing up? It's so late. It's not. Now I'm just doing the guy from Fly of the Concords. Yeah. Can I borrow a thousand dollars? Brit? 
Well, now that you're getting more into the impressions, I think we should wrap this up. It's it's time to go. It's a good indication. Um, Yeah. Um, It's time for my Sunday cookie bourbon nap. (laughs) Oh, it's gonna yeah. It's like you just had lots of right cookies. That's why I need the nap. Yeah, true. Weller, one hundred seven, really good by itself. I don't know what it would pair with. Maybe that's our homework. Maybe yeah. That's our challenge. Could be. Um, what are we doing next time? Ooh. We haven't really talked about this. Well, oh, and, and cheers from Belgium. Cheers. Cheers. Um, so next Saturday, we're actually going to the Kentucky Craft Spirits Festival in Marion County, which is actually where my mom, Pam. Pam. Your mom, is Pam. From. My mom, Pam, is from. Um, so she's going to go with us, and we'll go to the Craft Spirits Festival, check out some, you know, lesser known names of bourbon and whiskey and spirits in general, whatever. Um, and I think we want to talk a little bit about that. Now, I don't know what we're really going to do on the show, because I know we want to talk about it, but... We'll talk about it. Uh, I know we have a, a sample episode coming up, so we might talk about that while we trying some samples, some samples maybe that are unrelated. Maybe yeah, that sounds good. You know, because a lot of people have generously sent us samples and full bottles Which, more on that next week who, we thank will, you we will send out big uh big thank yous for that um so that's kind of what we're thinking right now we'll see and we're and i'm gonna you know take the camera to this festival so right ev- surely you'll bring the camera eventually there'll be dang i was hoping you'd take that bait don't call me surely <laughs> uh there'll be an episode of a produced episode not a live episode out about that so look forward to that all right we're really right. getting low on time here we must Depart. <laughs> Don't call me. Shirley. That's how I was like. Yeah. Surely you won't <laughs> miss that. Surely I won't. No. no. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, guys, thanks so much. Thank you for those super chats. That makes us feel warmer than any bourbon could ever make us feel. Thank you guys yes. for hanging out with us. It's been a blast. We love doing this stuff. Thank you to our patrons for making the live episodes on Sundays happen. That's, your That's my finger. Uh, Thanks to Travis for thank moderating. You to Travis, as always, for moderating. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Awesome. Yeah, go say say thanks to Travis in the in the chat, everybody. We just uh, surpassed nine thousand subscribers. What? So our next big celebration will be at ten. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's no way. Uh, there's a way. There's a way. When there's a bourbon, there's a way. Uh, and that's Ooh. you know that's. Pretty much it. Uh, when there's a whiskey, there's a When there's a whiskey, there's a way. That's pretty good. Um, so, yep. That'll do it for us. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. And until next time, eat more cookies. And drink, drink more, more bourbon. bourbon. That's yeah. right. All right. Bye, guys. I'll just keep waving until it's over.